Hey guys. So last time in, in my last video, I ended it uh, talking about how to identify if the gang stalkers can actually see you. Okay. Now, let me start off by saying the gang stalkers are in the physical. Okay. I, I talk about they're not the people in public. They're not your neighbors. They're not the people you go to stores. Okay. But I never said they're not in the physical. They are very, very much in the physical. And I will explain soon. But for today, I want to talk about can these gang stalkers really see you? I saw it two videos ago. I talked about how when, when I was in Maui, I talked about how voice to skull, you, they know what you know. So anything you try to plan, they will know. Anything that you don't even talk about, they will know. Whatever's in your head, they will know. Okay. And one thing I need all of you to know, the voice to skull is a major battleground. Major battleground. If you are not at the voice to skull stage, you are at that stage if you're a true ti you just don't haven't realized it yet you're still stuck at believing public abuse out in public you get harassment from people across the street you get harassment from someone you just walk by and now they're talking trash about you behind you i mean if you start that stage you haven't been really following my videos and you've been you really need to open up your mind because they really got you stuck because you ain't gonna elevate until you discover What's happening? Every time you discover something, they're going to give you a new way of countering. And you're going to be able to keep countering, easy and discovering. And you'll get better and better and better. But until you keep going up, you're actually really just stuck believing as people in the public. Okay? And when I say they're not people in the public, I'm not saying they're not in the physical. They are very much in the physical world. Okay? Very much in the physical world. I will get into that later. But for now, can the gang stalkers actually see you? Well, in the beginning, I also have the same questions in my head. You know, like, how do these people know what's going on? Because if I'm brushing my teeth, they're like, oh, you have bad teeth, you have no teeth. Or if I'm watching something, they'll, they'll hint to me that what I was watching, you know? It's like, it's like, they'll throw these hints in there it can make me feel like, man, they can see it. What's going on? You know, like, and that's why for the longest time I would think someone snuck into my place and installed these super advanced cameras. And I would go around my place with this, with the analog little radio, handheld radio, try to find any statics. I would get a flare, uh, there's a infrared flare, the company, try to see if there's any, like, any signs of, like, heat, you know, because imagine the heat will generate from these right um and, and then i was like how, how can they always kind of have they always like kind of trick me or tease me about they can see me you know but then there's also times the first time i really realized it is i'm just gonna close my eyes i close my eyes and doing some chant that's when i realized things are a little different as soon as i close my eyes that's why i noticed they get pissed off as if now they have no visual. Yes. So I just sat there talking trash for about an hour. Every time I hear them, I'll talk trash using my head. Respond to that voice, talking trash to it. It'll be the same. Same response of any direction it comes from, I'll talk trash. Same response. And one day i was so pissed off i was like you know what i'm tired of this why don't you guys just tell me if you can see me or not why don't you guys prove it what benefit do you get just kind of teasing me making me not believe that you can see but yet don't know if if, if you gang stalkers can see me or not right i'm just kind of like right in the middle like can they see can they not see oh and one time i i was at a restaurant i got the change and there was a 
a special kind of looking one dollar really cool one dollar i'll just kind of leave it there for tip and the one was like get the dollar so i, like, so I looked at look at it this one dollar bill and then, oh yeah there you go it's really unique it was like strange looking print no just kidding it was a it was a star note okay it's hard to find one dollar star notes it's poor condition but it's still cool like i i couldn't believe it, it was a one dollar star note i was like oh cool wow i didn't know it said they did what does that mean can't they see how do they know some of you out there might be like oh they purposely planned that there yeah true you're right but they can't because i know what they are they know what you know they also see what you see that's why when i close my eyes they're pissed now now here is how i what i did to confirm it I, I was thinking, what is the most fair way to confirm, to do a test on these guys, to call their bluff and have them prove to me they can't see me. They can't see me. I was thinking, thinking, what is a good way? What's a fair way doing it? And then, boom, I realized it. You know what it was? I reached into my pocket, grabbed a handful of change, because I like to have, I tend to have a lot of change in my pocket. A handful of change. I walk to a table top, clean tabletop. Not look at how much change I have. I look looked away. Put the change on the table without feeling too much, you know, because you don't want to have an idea of what's what coins. And just kind of spread them out flat. So nothing overstacked. And then I walked away. Because so I'll give you guys the time you need but when I come back I want to know how much change is on the table so I went away and, and do some stuff you know this was a couple years ago okay this is a couple years ago and uh, I forgot about it and then eventually I remember again so I walk back to the table without ever ever looking at it don't even look at it once and I call them out no one said anything that's when I start talking trash. But since where I live, you know, like I'm not in public. At the time, I, I, I did talk trash out loud. And I'm, I talk trash. Like, I really do. I, I, I would say I train myself to talk some really extreme trash. Like, I wouldn't do that to other people, you know, but I mean, these guys are gang stalkers. Um, what do you want me to do? You know, like. And I keep calling the bluff, calling the bluff. I'm like, what's the point? You know, just, just answer it. But what's the point of this? Like, they never give me the answer. And now, obviously, I did this test again later on. Failed again. They didn't give me an answer. And after that, uh, it was like, okay, they didn't give me an answer. That is the right way to do it, right? Still kind of keep me wondering, guessing. But what it did to me was, I, I come to a realization, why do I even care if they can see me or not? Who cares if they can see me? I walk around my place butt naked just to make fun of them. Seriously, no joke. I have no problem doing that. I don't care. If they can see me, then that means they've seen me shower every day. They see me on the toilet every day. So now after all these years, who cares if they can see me or not? They probably know more about my body than, than me than if they can see me, right? If I got pimples on my back, I don't even realize. Good for them. They can look at my pimples on my back all they want. You see, that's the mindset you need. Don't get too caught up on, oh man, they can see me, where are they? Where are they? I gotta find out, who are they? 
Don't get caught up in that. If you've been a TI for a long enough time, just accept the fact they already, if they can see you, they've seen you on in the toilet. They've seen, I mean, at first, it was difficult for me to do with my lady because they'll be making a lot of comments, you know, making fun and things and be like, oh, not that position again. So what? I like this position. I would tell them. That's what I would tell them. Big deal. Sometimes I would just make some over dramatic sound, you know, because I if they can hear me, to go making those, you know, what I mean, like sound, you know what I mean? To me, it's funny. Shoot, if you don't like hearing it, don't listen to me, <laughs> right? Don't be nice to those gang stalkers. Who cares if they can see you? What, are you about to commit some major crime? And you don't want them to see you when you're doing the crime? What? Let it go. Let it go. Think of it as you're a celebrity. Big deal. If you're a TI, you're always stressing. Have they kicked through your door yet? What are you doing that's so bad you feel like they're about to kick through your door? I mean, I wouldn't know. I'm not doing anything illegal that would put me in prison. So I don't know about UTIs out there. I'm sure some UTIs out there got your own secrets. You're slaying drugs or whatever. If the gang stalkers are bothering you, if you think they're 5-0, why are you still slaying drugs? Take a break. If you know they're using that against you because you, you feel guilty about what you're doing, then stop doing it. Take a break from it. You're doing something illegal and they're making you feel like they're about to catch you. Well, guess what? They already know you're doing it. So, so why are you still doing it? And, and putting your whole body in fear and then now next thing you know you're just doing it and, and just to go to prison or what and make it easy for them because what they already know you're doing it so now they're just messing with you if that's how you think just messing with you they already know you're, you're, you're doing something bad then stop move out the country go somewhere else right if you believe that believe they're gonna get you so badly but if you research a lot of TIs Go through this for 20 years, still think the helicopters above them are spying on them. Nothing's going on. You're not going to prison. Once you realize this, the next stage is the battle of voice to skull. That is the major battleground. I'm going to focus on this for a good 10 videos or so. Sorry, so I'm going to go into memories. Had to delete some files, but, um, Voice to Skull is going to be the battleground. And I hope you guys, the TIs out there who's watching this, and, and, and you're disagreeing with me, you, you, you think I'm, I don't know what I'm saying. Just calm and watch my videos from beginning to end. You got to have that focus and pay attention from beginning to end. Because a lot, a lot of my good advice comes from the end of the videos. Because that's when I'm actually warmed up. And then towards the end, I tend to kind of give some insight in there, just really good and helpful. If you are not at the voice to skull stage where you actually understand, tell the difference, then one day I hope you will. Because if you don't get to that stage and you don't own that stage, I don't even know how you're going to exit gang stalking. Because it's just fear everywhere you go. And if you have no fear, you can actually don't care about these gang stalkers. Then eventually you will find yourself to the voice to skull stage. And then it's another battle. No fear. Shimon, signing out.